Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about another perfume from Dossier, and this is a dupe for a super, super high-end perfume that I don't have, but I have been wanting, but did not want to purchase it with the high price tag. <laughs> we are going to be talking about the Dossier perfume, and I will let you guys know my thoughts. If you are new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos, and let's get started. So I have talked about Dossier before. I have one other perfume that was sent to me, but they did reach out to me again asking if I wanted to try another one, so I picked my second choice. So if you have not heard of Dossier, they are a perfume company that makes perfumes that are based off of luxury perfumes. So ones that have a pretty high price tag. Dossier makes their own perfumes that are kind of meant to dupe that perfume, but you spend a lot less money. I think it's great because perfume is so expensive. So if you're looking for that really, really luxury or high-end perfume, Dossier might have one that is meant to dupe it. So it is definitely worth it and it's a lot less money. The other thing I really like about Dossier is that when you get your perfume, you get a little tiny sample size. So you're able to test out that sample size. And if you don't like it, you can send me whole perfume back, which I think is fantastic. You could always get a sample at Sephora, but you have to go in the store in order to do that. You can't do that online. You have to go to the store and you get the little tiny sample to test out and bring home. But in this case, you can just buy it on the website and you already get the sample with the full size perfume. So you can test out that sample and if you don't like it, you can just return the whole perfume. So the first one I got was the dupe of Baccarat Rouge, but this time I got Oriental Cherry and that is meant to dupe Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. So again, this is what it comes in. It comes in this box with the full size perfume and then it comes with this little sample size. So this is a pretty decent size sample for you to test out. You can get probably a good week or two out of this just to really get a good idea of what the perfume is and whether you like it or not, whether it lasts long on your skin, whether it's strong or too strong for you. So I love that they do this. It comes with this little card as well, which has all the description or information on it. So the notes of this one are cherry, almond, and cinnamon at the top. The middle notes are cloves, rose, jasmine, and plum. There is a bug. It's totally a bug in here. Okay. And then the base notes are Peru balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. Also, my nose itches like crazy, so if my nose turns red, it's because I just scratched it. It itches so much, I don't know why. Anyway, so I did take this on my little trip and did use it a few times, and I actually have it on right now. I love this perfume. I have not smelled Tom Ford's Lost Cherry before, but I will not be purchasing it because it is hella expensive. I'm not going to be paying that much money for that perfume, but this is just so good. Also, these have magnetic caps, which I think is amazing for perfume because I feel like my caps fall off all the time off my perfume. So that is a really great idea for whoever came up with that at Dossier. So this is the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle or the 50 milliliter bottle. The Tom Ford version, the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle is $368. Yeah. And this one retails for $49. Like that's ridiculous. That is over a $300 difference. And this is pretty dang good. If you like cherry scents, you're gonna like this. It has a good mix of sweetness and tartness and spiciness. I definitely can smell the cinnamon, which to me is a little weird to put in a perfume, but I think it works so nicely. This is like the perfect fall perfume. You get the sweetness of the cherry, but it's not like a super, super sweet maraschino cherry. At least I don't think it is but it's amazing mixed with the cinnamon and the other spices in there with the cloves. And then you also get the tonka bean and the vanilla. I definitely get the tonka bean too and the almond. Mm. 
It's so good. I love almond and vanilla and tonka bean in fragrances. So of course I'm gonna like that. It's just so good. I sprayed this once, I think, on myself and it mixes really nicely with my skin chemistry. It lasts a good amount of time on my skin. It's not too, too strong. Again, I sprayed it once and I do not really have to reapply it later on. I kind of let it sink in and then if I want to reapply later, then I do if I just want more of that scent, but sometimes I don't. But I have not really done that yet. I tend to just spray it maybe once or twice and that's it, but it's, it's so good. I will definitely be keep well not like I wouldn't be keeping this, but I will be using it more. The Baccarat Rouge one, I'm actually not a huge fan of that scent. It's a little too masculine for me. So this one is just perfect. Mm. I can't stop smelling this. But it is nice that I have a full size and a sample size. So now I kind of have a travel size if I do go anywhere anytime soon but it is definitely not too intense for other people as well I was with my family and my brother is very very sensitive to scents and I did not spray this around him so that's not really a good example but I wore it out a couple times and I didn't really get anybody yelling at me saying it was too strong but I I love it and again, the reason I picked this was because I knew I was never going to purchase the Tom Ford version, but I was very, very interested in the scent itself. So I figured I had to pick this one to test out and I'm so glad I did. So I said this is $49 for the full size plus the sample size, which is amazing. And they also gave me a code for 10% off. So that is CRINR10. I will put the link down below for you guys to check out. I do not receive commission or anything. It is just for you guys to save some money, which is awesome because these are already an amazing deal. So with that additional 10% off, it's, it's awesome. I mean, you get a perfume for under $50, most of the time, it is the one fluid ounce bottle, not the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. So you can get a medium-sized perfume bottle for under $50, and that's amazing. The only other place you can get that is TJ Maxx or Marshalls, which is where I get a lot of my perfumes. But perfumes like this that will probably never end up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, this would be a perfect one to get. Same with like Baccarat Rouge 540. So any niche fragrances that probably will not end up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls because those are either overstocked or they're just not selling as well like on Sephora or any of the retailers. So those will probably not end up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. That would be a good one to get from Gossier because if you're not going to spend the super, super high price tag for the luxury ones, then this is definitely a great option. I definitely want to try out more, but I want to smell them beforehand. I do love the idea of being able to test them out, but I think I want to go to Sephora and have like a few on my mind and go there and get those few samples. And then if I like any of them, then I will probably get the dossier version if they have one. They have so many different perfumes. So most likely if you're looking for a specific perfume, they have it on dossier's website. So definitely take a look. They have so many good ones. I keep looking on there and holding back. So definitely check them out if you're looking for any high-end luxury or niche fragrances for a lower price tag. But that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!